think he's writing me a ticket. No, I'm serious. Guys, it's Supercar Blondie. I am in St. Agata here in Italy, and here's Mitya, the head of design. Oh, wait, oh god, there's not even time to introduce you. What's this? It's a surprise, yeah? <laughs> okay, all right, we're gonna surprise some kids with this incredible car and see what they think. Hello! 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 Hello. Oh my goodness, you guys like cars? Lamborghinis? Cool? We yeah, 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 it's cool, huh? Yeah! Do you see what machine is? Lamborghini. Lamborghini. Yeah, yeah. Lamborghini. Yeah. Lamborghini. Oh, yeah. Wow. Super. Yeah. Special. Oh, yeah. Oh my goodness, the big unveil. Oh. Wow. What For someone insieme. Insieme. Okay. Yep. Look at this. Isn't this awesome? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> The girls are just like over the moon, more so than the boys. It's crazy. That is awesome. Wow. That is so cool. This behavior, yeah, this is just in San Agata. What's the circling? I don't know what's going on. Should I join the circle? Yes, you can join the circle. We've got guys and girls here who are equally as excited about seeing this Lamborghini. It's not just a it's not just a boy thing. The girls are just as excited, which I love to see. It's another Lamborghini moment. And then oh 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 now something's happening. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <That's> so, <laughs> And they went just as quickly as they came. What I'm going to do now is take you through this incredible car. This is the Terzo Millennio. So meaning third and millennio meaning a period of a thousand years so the third millennium which is what we've started now so this car represents where they're going with the brand this millennium okay this is a vision this car doesn't actually drive but this is what they would picture their first ever electric vehicle to look like and what they're doing is they're they want to move away from like the traditional placement of batteries on electric vehicles. You know, with a lot of electric vehicles like the Tesla, you've got the batteries that kind of line the floor, like here, right? What they're going to do is put batteries kind of where the naturally aspirated uh, V12 would be in a Lamborghini today. They'll put some batteries here, some batteries in the front, but what's even cooler is they're going to generate energy from the body itself. You might say, okay, well, you can create any car and just say it can do this and say it can do that, but can it actually do it? What they've done is they've teamed up with MIT, the university, and they've got the best brains from the university actually working on that technology. All right, so let me just talk to you a little bit about the body of this car, what they're planning on doing.
park here. <laughs> I don't know. They're going to put a ticket on the car if I'm longer than 10 minutes, so we've got to get going. Thank you. Another really, really cool thing is the carbon fiber will be self healing. When it detects a little scratch, a little nick in the body of the car, it will actually emit a little bit of uh, this powerful glue material that will then fuse the carbon fiber back together before it turns into a bigger crack and you have to replace the whole piece. So that is pretty cool. Electric cars, one issue that people have is that they're quiet. When you think of Lamborghini, you think of this roaring engine. That's one of the reasons why I love my Hurricane. Lucy, you know, I bought a Lamborghini because a few reasons, but one of those reasons is because I, I love the sound, this gurgle and pop and crack from the back. I mean, it's exciting. So when you think of a Lamborghini that's electric, what are they going to do to replace the energy and the sound that you get from a naturally aspirated V12? What are they gonna do? It's Lamborghini. It can't be quiet, right? So what they've come up with is a soundtrack that's going to be played as the air passes over the body of the car. All of these lines here, all of these little ridges, as the airflow passes over the car, kind of generates this soundtrack, which is quite cool. I hadn't thought about that before. We've got some companies employing very well-known composers to compose soundtracks for electric cars in future, but I've never, hello, <laughs> you're back. <laughs> She likes me more than the car, which is weird. <laughs> How are you? Oh, I, I think school's out, right? We're gonna do the review together. Um, <laughs> we're gonna talk about the sound. <laughs> I've never had this happen before while I'm filming. That's so cute. What's your name? Amen. Amen? Amen? Amen. Amen. Did I get that right? Amen. Oh, she's so sweet. That's so cute. All right, I'm taking her home. Whoever's kid this is, I'm taking her. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. What a cutie. Oh my goodness. It's going to have four motors, so one at each uh, wheel, right? And it's going to have in the back here super capacitors. When I first heard that, I was like, is that the thing from Back to the Future? The flux capacitor? No. <laughs> Super capacitor um, is something that can actually uh, generate a hundred times more power than a battery in a electric vehicle today, right? So they're thinking of putting them kind of in the back there. And what they wanted to achieve is an electric vehicle that could do speeds of 300 kilometers an hour for a length of time, like few laps around a circuit. In order to get that badge on the front of this car, as an electric vehicle, it needs to be worthy of that badge. Should we talk about the design? I think we should just get to it, right? Let's bring in Mitya. Mitya, you're up, you're up. How are you? <laughs> Stop hanging around drinking champagne, yes. we need you. Oh, I was just there having a, having a coffee. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta perform now, yeah? okay. ready? Okay, where should we start, right, design-wise? First got... of all, I would start with the location. This the location? Beautiful... It's beautiful, St. Agata, right? Am I yes. saying that right? St. Yeah. Agata? St. Agata Bolognese. Bona... Bolognese. Yeah. In, in, in the Germans always say St. Agata Bolognese, but the Italians say St. Agata Bolognese. But it's that's more... the same? Yes. No, San, <laughs> Santa Agata. Santa oh, Agata. Sa is Santa Agata. Uh, Santa Agata. Okay, so what do you say? Santa Sa Agata. Santa Agata. 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 More Agata. related to the, to the Sant end of the... Santa Agata. Yes. <laughs> this is going Say really well. I feel like this is going really well. Santa <laughs> Agata. More with the And you've music. got to say with the hand too, right? Santa Agata. Santa Agata. All right, great. We've got the name of the town down. <laughs> I'm getting a round of applause. Awesome. First of all, we wanted to completely question the architecture of a super sports car, especially Lamborghini. The idea is that it is potentially electrical. Yes. And it needed to be different. We wanted to create a car that was in collaboration with the MIT uh, University in Boston. Yeah. So we wanted to have something that looks a bit younger. Oh, okay. Huh? okay. And also in terms of design language, different. Yes. Because it was also um, the first concept car uh, when I joined Lamborghini oh, that we did that... together. Oh, this so is your first concept. You can ah, say okay. the first baby at oh, the time. So, so cool. And uh, that was always a dream. This being a, potentially an electric vehicle, yes. right? It looks as though you could still have 
a naturally aspirated, you know, V12 in the back because you've got all of this room at the back. Is that is there a reason why? Let, now let's you say did that? because we wanted to keep the Gandini line. Okay. You know, I'm I'm calling this uh, single center line the Marcello Gandini line. We have received this line from the Countach. Okay. Lamborghini for me uh, in terms of DNA is always related to the strong angle of the side windows. Okay. You can see that on the Urus, you can see that yes. on the Huracan, you can yeah. see that on the Cyan. Okay. That is our language, you know, our architecture. Right, right. So the thing is, is that with electric vehicles, you can pretty much design them however you want to now, because you're not building a car around an engine. Exactly. You know, you can place the batteries kind of wherever you want to, you can build a completely different looking car. Yeah. But you this know, looks like a Lamborghini, like yes. it still looks like it could have a naturally aspirated engine. Now for us that. car designers, you know, we are living the best moment mm. because, you know, the, the technology is on the move. Yeah. So with this kind of, you know, ideas, we can completely rethink architecture. Yes. Electrification yeah. is really giving us uh, opportunities because you can shift uh, some volumes. Yeah. For example, when you sit here and yeah, you look, at look these through, guys. Uh, you can see that there is not a classical muffler. So um, all the main cabin is designed like an LMP car. Uh -huh, yeah. So it's the inspiration, let's say, on, on a monocoque where two people can sit together. Yeah. Of course, quite cozy. Yeah. We are using the space between the front wheel and the, the, the main cabin mm -hmm. for an air tunnel where you, we can use the airstream. These wings here are, in, in our fantasy, movable. Cool. So when you dr drive fast, uh, or when you need to, the aerodynamical efficiency, we are closing. Uh, but for example, in the braking zones, you could you could open yep. and you can put the wings put against the, the on, airstream, aero, aero for example. Brakes, yeah. Then all this is floating, you know, through this wing here, um, where we have uh, integrated these kind of winglets, um, and they are actually uh, also an inspirational source for our Sian. Yes. On the Sian, we have moved them to the outside. Yeah. Yeah, so these are for me a little bit. Uh, yeah. yeah, and also you've got the you've got the tribute to the year 1963 exactly. here on the side as well. What is the, all of this here? Because uh, I don't speak Italian, so <laughs> yeah. um, Carico is is like the full load. Alla is uh, Italian for wing. Oh, okay. Um, basso means like the lower position. Me medio is like the middle uh, position, oh, okay. and alto is because this wing would potentially uh, move. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah? Also, you know, Carico Ala would mean like it's, it's kind of uh, moving against the air ah, uh, stream okay. for, the, for the downforce. Fine. Okay, so that's just talking about the wing then and the different positions. When you look from here, and this is what my favorite uh, yeah. perspective of the car, yeah. um, you can see that the rear end is basically empty. You know? yeah. So there is not a classical uh, exhaust pipe, no. no muffler, and it's really impressive yeah. what you can see. It's really like accelerating like a water drop or like so a boat cool. uh, so you can look into the uh, you know into the suspension and the wheels and the, and the end the electric engines so all or half of the car is like a diffuser you know yeah, right. even more than the, the the 80s Le Mans cars you know they were already having half of the car like it's incredible how electric vehicles are just changing the look of cars completely you know you just don't have backs anymore they're just completely open let's talk about the wheels look this whole wheel lights up doesn't it meet you yes i mean of course this is this is show car yeah, yeah. show car style so here's plexiglass and we have these uh, you know so what you're orange. saying is you probably wouldn't have plexiglass on a wheel i in, think on a not i think future. not yeah i okay. think <laughs> I, I think we will not get this introduction yeah. i guess let me you say guess not. Yeah, okay. i can ask the engineers but i guess no. it's not gonna happen <laughs> all right write that off for example what is interesting is i mean we have instead of the classical brakes yeah. uh, the, the engine is the brake because you need to recuperate the energy as right well. right so, so like for example I, I don't know if you guys have driven uh, a Tesla before but when you pull, pull your uh, foot off the accelerator it kind of automatically breaks because it's re-energizing the batteries right exactly. you know the, the idea was that it looks like an electrical motor yeah right you know, okay. like this this looks like the inner parts of an electrical engine mm. so that is the idea you okay, know to, okay. that we wanted to use for the for the style so cool we can't ignore the, f the front because actually I know you love the back but I, I, I'm a but big I, fan I, of the front <laughs> no I still I like all the, like all of the cars I mean, it's this area here is also one of my favorites um, the Y shape this kind of Y shape yeah we want to have and this will be uh, an element that we are continuing in the future yeah as you have seen on the Sian yes. and this will be a signature of Lamborghini it's beautiful it's super cool just imagine the car in the tunnel you see the Y shape super cool imagine seeing that behind you in the rearview mirror yeah. oh you'd know to move aside immediately it's coming for you and today you know we have this discussion 
oh, Lamborghini needs to have the sound. Full, I mean, I, I'm fully convinced we need sound because it's a monster and it has to be, I don't know, it has to have. Yeah. And these, these electrical engines, in my opinion, they are providing a cool sound. Yeah, you can do. generate. What are you picturing that sound to be in your head? Can you vocalize that? <laughs> For me, it's kind of a. Ooh, okay. yeah? No, in, I mean, the, like in the, the pot racers in the, in the Star Wars movie, something like that. <laughs> Yeah, like you know, <laughs> yeah? Some, you know a awesome. cool sound has to be a cool sound. That would sure. be so cool. Yeah, yeah just imagine this look and, and this you kind just of sound. It. Exactly. It has. I mean, not artificially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has, yeah. To, it has to be natural. Yeah? yeah. Like a naturally aspirated electric car. <laughs> if you can say that. Well, thank you so much, Mitya. It's been a pleasure to have come to Santa Agata. Santa Agata. Bologna. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I got it. It's I got about it. The sound. And we'll see you next time, I suppose, in somewhere around the world. In, a, in a Lamborghini moment. <laughs> Lamb Another Lamborghini moment. Another Lamborghini moment. Lamborghini moment. Okay. Expect the unexpected. Ciao. <laughs> see you later, mate. Ciao. A massive, massive thank you to Lamborghini for making this happen. You guys rock. I really appreciate you. If you like the video, give it a quick thumbs up for me make sure to subscribe to the channel supercar blondie this is where we get to see literally the coolest craziest cars in the world all right i'm out love you you guys gonna pay for this <laughs> how much is it i don't even know does it say somewhere um, they, there's no number plate on it. It just says Lamborghini. Yes, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I think it would be they charged. Got that right? It would be charged to Centro Ah, you're going to get this bill. Great, you take, take that. Care. All right, yes. see you later. Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy.